G'day guys. EA have provided me with some early footage of the Summer Courts promo. Now keep in mind that this is still a work in progress, so there may be some changes uh, when it officially launches on Friday the 7th of July. There are going to be over 100 new players and you'll be able to build 99 over Summer Master Alan Iverson. He'll be a shooting guard in the shooting lineup and Dr. J is in the game now, which is awesome. Uh, each week, a new court will be unlocked that brings with it new, a new boss and court-specific elites. Brooklyn's the first court. Uh, the sixth lineup will be unlocked for use with summer players, and it will provide bonuses to the shooting and speed attributes of the players in that lineup. So let's uh, dive into some of this footage that, uh, that I've been provided and analyze it a little bit. Let's take a look at the Summer Courts Progress Tracker. So as you complete Brooklyn Live events, sets and objectives, you'll earn tokens that can be used to unlock the different tiers of the Brooklyn Boss. Here we can see the different levels of the Brooklyn Boss, Bernard King, the de a defensive small forward. It starts with an 80 over version of Bernard King, and as you complete those tokens that we just saw, you'll be able to unlock uh, higher and higher versions of Bernard King with the ultimate goal of unlocking the 97 version of his card which will then give you access to one part of the Dr. J set. You can see that you'll also need an Allen Iverson uh, gauntlet token, tokens from the other two courts, Seattle and also Chicago and then there's a blank which may be the Venice Beach Court which we know is coming. Here's the Summer Courts Master Allen Iverson set but unlike traditional sets, once you've unlocked his token, you'll then need to also complete a specific live event, and I believe it's the same for the Dr. J set, to achieve the card itself. Now let's take a look at one of the new live events. This is classified as an easy, uses one of the players in your new Summer Courts uh, lineup. So excited to have that six lineup back. It's a lot of fun to use. And look at this, a brand new court. This is so exciting to have new content in the game outside of just new players and live events. I'm really looking forward to getting to experience all of the new courts and especially the new jerseys. That's something the community has been asking for for a while and EA is listening and giving us what we're asking for, which is fantastic. Okay, so this live event's complete. So as per usual in a live event, we unlock the reward, which in this case is a summertime collectible, but we also uh, unlock a boss token by achieving enough summer cred and you'll see that here and that's what can be used to unlock those boss cards. Finally let's check out some of the new street ball gameplay. So you can see here that a two or a mid-range shot that's traditionally a two in the NBA is considered a one-point play uh, and if we skip forward a little bit you can see here that what's traditionally a three-point shot is a two-point play. So this definitely uh, emphasizes the outside game a little bit more as it's double as many points as the inside game. You might have also noticed that there's no shot clock and there's no game timer. This is simply first to a set score wins and I'm guessing that that specific score will vary depending on the live event that you're playing. So as you can clearly see from this brief glimpse at the new program, there's tons of new content, exciting new gameplay, heaps of new players, sets to unlock, live events to grind. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback, uh, things that you're looking forward to, those types of things in the comments below. Please subscribe to the channel if these sorts of videos are something you're interested in. It helps me grow and get more of these videos out to you guys. Uh, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks for watching, guys.